What you guys got another video here for you. It seems Microsoft are now emailing people to get them to upgrade to Windows 11. So the email was titled end of support for Windows 10 is approaching. There's a little box underneath that says check upgradability. And what that's going to do is allow you to download their tool and run a check on your system to see whether you're eligible to upgrade to Windows 11 uh, for free. Unfortunately, most of the people that are probably receiving this email are people with unsupported hardware, which means they won't be able to upgrade to Windows 11. There's another link next to that that says explore new computers. This is to get you to buy a new computer, basically, with Windows 11 on it. Most people that have a computer that is capable of running Windows 10 and it does everything they need it to do is somehow now forced to try to either upgrade to Windows 11 or you have to now explore the options of buying a new computer. This is what they're trying to say in this email. Then we move down to the frequently asked questions. It says, what does this mean for me? Well, if you don't know what that means for you by now, then you're in serious trouble because it says after October 14th, 2025, Microsoft uh, will no longer provide free software updates from Windows updates or you won't receive any technical assistance or receive any security fixes for Windows 10. It also goes on to say, what can I do with my old computer? You can trade it in and there's a link to a trading center and there's also or recycle it with local organizations and there's a link explaining all about the recycle it uh, type of thing. So next it will move on to uh, will my Windows 10 PC stop working and it will say no your PC will continue to work but support will be discontinued. So they're giving people a full breakdown of what to expect once the deadline for the end of life for Windows 10, which is on October 14th, 2025. The next section says, how is Windows 11 more secure? And it goes on to say, Windows 11 is the most secure Windows ever built with comprehensive end-to-end -end security that uh, covers antivirus firewall, internet protections, and more. And it also gives you a read more section there about Windows security. And I must say, that's probably the only bit I would say that is true. It is the most secure operating system that they've produced to date. It's also one of the most data harvesting uh, operating systems they've ever made as well. And also it's embedded with tons of ads and God knows what else. So that is one of the downsides of Windows 11. But it is the way forward and that's the way they're going. And there's not a lot else you can do about it apart from using, say, Linux. And let's face it it's just not going to cut the mustard for a lot of Windows users. I know this is going to hurt a lot of Linux fanboys' feelings, but at the end of the day, a lot of Windows users have gone over to Linux and ended up coming back weeks later or months later. Also, there's a lot of Linux users that will have one foot in Windows because they just can't do without it. So if Linux is that great, why do they have to still keep using Windows? And why do they have one foot in Windows? You know, it's always the same problem. That being said, there is some people out there that can use Linux and get on with it perfectly fine, and it does everything they need it to do. But unfortunately, the masses will just need that Windows operating system because they have proprietary software that they like to use, which Linux just does not cover. So let's talk about the last bit at the bottom. It says, if you plan to keep using your Windows 10 PC, we recommend keeping your files backed up and easily accessible across devices using OneDrive. Well, of course you would. That's exactly what you want to do because you own OneDrive and that's exactly what they're trying to promote right here. Now, there's no mention about extended support using their $30 extended support package that they're offering for one year, but there's no mention of that. And that's because they're trying to get you to go over to Windows 11. So let's take a look at the stat counter here for Windows 10 and Windows 11. You can see Windows 10 still has a whopping 58.7% of users, where Windows 11 has 38.13%. But look at the steady climb for Windows 11. This is pretty common. What's going to happen is due to the fact that Windows 10 is coming to an end, you will start seeing a downcline on Windows 10 and lastminute.com, people will start to jump ship to Windows 11 because they have no option or they will go and buy a new computer. This is just basically what happens all the time. So you probably will see 
a downshift in Windows 10 in the up and coming months. I don't think you'll see a huge spike for Windows 10 users uh, going back to Windows 10 because they know it's coming to an end and there's not a lot else you can do apart from what I've mentioned in previous videos. Now, yesterday we talked about Windows 10 LTSE. This is not the IoT version. This has an end of life date of 2027, which gives you obviously a couple of more years usage. You might be able to pick up a key from CD key sales for, you know, around about five pounds or $10 if you want to continue to use that. But again, like I've said before, you can use the $30 option from Microsoft, which will take you up to October 2026. And again, this ends in January 12th, 2027. So you're only gaining a couple of more years. So whether you want to pay $10 or $30 is entirely up to you. One major problem that you're going to face when you're using enterprise LTSC uh, versions, including the IoT version, is software. Now, the problem is 21H2 is already end of life, and that means it will still receive security updates, these versions, but you will run into issues because IoT versions were never designed to have all your modern software that people are using it for, like Steam, and all your browsing and things like that as a general modern day desktop computer. It was designed for devices, hardware devices in offices where it wasn't sort of uh, installed for a desktop use. So what will happen is when you start downloading software like Armory Crate and all these other software that you put on your computer uh, on a daily basis, they will stop working and you will start having issues because it was never meant to be designed for a desktop computer. So if you've got all your favorite software, you'll probably find if you do a bit of research already uh, software like uh, Photoshop and Light, uh, Light Studio have already started killing off uh, software for these. You have to use older versions of it because it won't work with the newer versions. And this is going to be a common problem you're going to face when you're using this. And we're only in uh, 2025. Can you imagine uh, trying to get this to last to 2032? It's just not going to happen. You're going to end up with major software issues, major driver issues that won't install on an old obsolete uh, operating system that's probably sitting somewhere in a back office, not on the internet, and it's basically just running a piece of software which is proprietary to that uh, operating system. So before you consider this route of going down and getting, say, LTSE versions or uh, LTSE IoT versions, then be uh, careful because I can guarantee you, you will run into uh, some major problems. You can see here Windows 10 versions 21H2 end of updates, enterprise and education. You can read all about it on their website. Microsoft produced documents for everything. So if you are thinking about getting Windows 10 IoT LTSE versions to last up to 2032, it's not going to last until 2032. I can guarantee you that. The operating system will. You'll still probably get security updates, but there's no software companies out there that are going to support operating systems with versions of 21H2 for that period of time. And if you use a lot of Adobe products, it's not ideal for running Adobe Creative Cloud applications like Photoshop, Lightroom due to its limited feature set and lack of regular updates. So you may run into some issues. There's also posts on Reddit and other sites that you can read that people are already having issues with those software and they can't get them working properly and they can't get them working on the that version of LTSC or IoT versions. And the reason for that is because it was never really designed for it. You can see right here on Reddit, it says some Adobe software such as Photoshop version 26 and later and Lightroom version 7 and later won't work on LTSC 2021 due to it being based on versions of 21H2. Like I mentioned early on in the video, you're going to have lots of problems like these. And this is just 2025. Can you imagine being at 2032? It's just not going to work. So don't waste your time and money on something that you're not going to have for longevity. You're going to run into major problems and issues later on down the line. There is a Windows 11 LTSE version, which also is pretty much stripped down, and it does run on 24H2, which is much more modern and up to date, and it's probably your best option, if your PC supports Windows 11, that is. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, whether you're using Windows 10 or what your plan of action is when we approach the end of life for Windows 10. I'll be happy to read your comments and reply to them. If not, I'll catch you on the Discord server a chat or I'll see you in the next video. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall see you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.